Hey there, thank you so much for clicking my video and in today's video I have five wigs in the same style but different colors and they're brought to you by Hair Supply Shop. I'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig and also their direct store. The brand of the wig that I have today is Ultra. I have one of their melted hairline wigs. The style that I have is Kamaya and I have them in the color 2. DRFF2 slash Cinnamon Mocha. DRFF2 slash Cherry Red. DRFF4 slash Hazelnut Honey. And DRF4 Golden Honey. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get two combs in the front, not too far from the temple. Another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. They also inserted an extra elastic band so you get a nice secure fit. And the cap material is a stretch fit, breathable material. The parting space comes in the middle. You get one inch of lace in the front, which is really nice. The lace is also coming off gray on my skin. I'm going to try my best to tint it to my skin color. So this is the color number two and the hairline on these wigs come pre-plugged. Also the parting space and the hairline come with base. Hairs. On the top area by the parting space, it's coming off a little humpy. So to fix that, I'm going to go in with my Andes hot comb and the temperature I have it on is number five. And I just take the hot comb and I run it through halfway by the roots. I don't go all the way out with the hot comb and I press down the hairline as well. The baby hairs is a little too long for my liking, so I'm just going in with my scissors and cutting it down. And if you're a super beginner and you don't know how to cut off that extra lace, first of all, Ultra, you guys put a lot of lace. I thought there was a lace shortage out here. You guys over here wasting lace. But anyways, you just take your scissors and cut right along the hairline. Be sure to hold back the baby hairs so you don't cut off any of the baby hairs. Now I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 355. And I'm just gonna take this flat head brush and dab some of the powder on the brush and apply the powder underneath the lace. So everything that I did to the color two is basically the same thing that I did with the other colors. And I'm not gonna show it on camera so I can save some time. I'm just gonna go straight to the colors so you guys can get this nice color show and tell. Hey there, hey there, here I am, the star have arrived. So the first color up is the color number two. The stocking cap that I'm going in underneath with is like a brown nude stocking cap. So I just want to show you guys how the color two hairline just blends in so nicely with my skin. And that's without me styling the baby hairs. I don't have no hard hold spray on the hairline or anything. So now I'm going to go in and style my baby hairs. And I'm going to use the Got To Be Glue Gel and my little edge brush. what the hairline and the parting space is looking like after I'm done and I just went in and styled the baby hairs on my forehead I left the sides alone because I have other colors to show so I didn't want to tack it down but so far it is looking very nice I love it the texture of this hair is a light yaki texture it actually feels like a perm yaki texture the lace is blending in really nicely with my skin I love it as for the length of the wig on me, I would say it's about 20 inches or maybe even 22. My height is 5'6". The density on this wig is medium, probably like 150% if you're familiar with virgin hair density. And to me, that's really good. Nice for every day. 
I love how in the back, how I parked the hair, there is no track showing in the back. That's a major plus. And also the luster on this hair is not too shiny to me, so you don't have to go in and zip it down with dry shampoo. With the proper care, I feel like you could get at least two to three weeks of wear with it. I'm not really sure because the quality these days would be surprising. You will get a wig and it feel like it will last long and it does not last long. So that's pretty much it. Let me get the next color out for you guys. The next color up is Cinnamon Mocha and I just want to show you guys how nicely the hairline is blending in. If you don't want to add baby hairs, you don't have to. So this is just what it looks like without any baby hairs. But I'm going to go in and style a little bit of extra baby hairs on this one on one side so you guys can see how nicely it lays on the skin and how nicely pre-plucked it comes. Here's my end results on the cinnamon mocha color and this color is so gorgeous especially for fall the color is not too dark not too bright and it has a cute streak of highlights in the front that nicely frame the face and the density on this one is not too thick um, same as the other one I would say it's about 150% I love how the hairline is blending in with my skin uh, it looks so good good you guys with this one i got zero tangling and i did get shedding shedding was really low just like the color number two totally recommend let me know your thoughts Up next is the cherry red color, and this is one of my favorites from Oche. This color is so gorgeous. I love the burgundy. It's not too bright, not too dark. I love the nice red burgundy other color that frames the face. Really cute. Also loving how the lace is blending in with my skin. No complaints. With this one, I got zero tangling as well. And to comb out these hair, I used the paddle brush. So I got zero tangling and as for shedding, shedding was, mm, it was a little bit more than the other two colors that I did, but nothing too bad, nothing too hectic where it's like return to sender. Really nice and a density on this one is the same as the other one. This is the first time I really got other colors with like a wig and they're all the same density. So that's another plus. Next up is the hazelnut honey color and this color 
is so pretty love it the roots fade into this nice color 30 then you have this nice highlight in the front that frames your face the lace on this one is blending really nicely with my skin as well i only styled the forehead i did not style the air tabs but if you was to wear this i do recommend spraying down the air tabs with hard hold spray and blow drying it till it's completely dry to hold it down or using glue because the air tabs definitely do lift up if you do want to wear it so the density on this one is medium as well not too thick not too thin the Trax in the back isn't showing and the shine on this to me doesn't have a harsh shine so yay no dry shampoo and love it and another thing that i love about these wigs is i love how it comes layered and just pre-style probably wondering can this be a side part but then I'm left with all this lace on this side and then I'll be left with the lace behind my ear hold on let me see how it looks over my ear hmm over my ear it's not too bad it's not uncomfortable hmm hold on I'm trying to make it work hold on hold on All right, so if you want a right side part or like even if it's the left side part, if you want to make it work, I would recommend gluing or hard holding spray this side down. And this side would be over your ear, but sometimes that don't really bother me, especially if I know I'm gonna be in the car or something, I'll just keep this side down covering my ear. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna try to make it work. So let me just go ahead and style her real quick. Another way to blend your lace that some of my YouTube sisters taught me was to use foundation if powder doesn't work or concealer. And foundation really does get the job done. But I use a shade just a tiny bit darker than me because when I use my actual shade, it comes off a little too light. So this is my end results. So this is the golden honey color and this is really cute as a right side part. Remember it does not lay properly as a right side part but if you're willing to take the risk to get your right side part then go ahead and do you boo. The only thing I could say is when you turn it to the right or the left the length of the hair does change. So one side is a little longer than the other side but hmm, who's gonna notice? <laughs> a girl maybe and maybe some guys but it's still cute and if you want to continue to wear it as a right side part or a left side part you can always go in and trim the end to make it more even but with this one i actually like the color i thought it was going to be a little too light on me but i like how the blonde has a little tone in it it's not as like a 613 color I definitely see the nice little honey tones in there. So the density on this one is the same as the other ones. Like I said, this is the first time I actually got different colors and all the density was the same. The lace blends in really nicely with my skin. The hairline comes pre-plugged and they did their thing on that. I totally recommend these wigs. If you are a beginner and you want to step up from a closure to a frontal, I do believe this is beginner friendly if you're trying to have that frontal look. But this color, I didn't get any tangles and shedding was low as well. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Later you guys, thanks again for watching.